Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be discussing the uh, version 2 and version 6 of Themeco's newest uh, themed XN Pro. Uh, we're going to be discussing the presets options on their uh, themes. So you can actually find the template manager underneath of this Pro tab here under templates and under this one as well under templates. So let's go ahead and, and navigate to that. So right here we have our template manager. Uh, on the left hand side we have this nice drag and drop feature where you can click on the choose a template and it will automatically open this up and you can choose the template that you have on your computer. And then on the right hand side we have all of the space for the templates that we want to import. We can choose which type of, imp of header we want to take a look at and narrow down to. So we have the headers, the content, the footers, and the presets. Over here on the right-hand side, we are able to search all of our templates. So if you gave it a, a creative title, like restaurant or a car or something like that, you can search the templates through there. And then we also have the Design Cloud button to where we can actually go ahead and uh, import all of the Design Cloud templates that Themeco has uh, for us to download. And it is a great, great way to have, get started with awesome templates. Uh, we went through this in a different video, so we're not going to go through it uh, again. But be sure to check that one out. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. Underneath of the template manager, let's go ahead and uh, import a couple templates. So I've got a few that I made previously that I want to go ahead and import. And you'll know that they're compatible with version 2. Um, because they have the images and stored inside of the template and all of that and so they're going to be labeled a .tco file. So let's go ahead and import some templates by clicking and dragging the file here. From there we're going to go ahead and have all of our templates here. We can select them all. We can select single ones uh, and we can just select one at a time. So there's a bunch of different uh, ways to select them as well. Uh, we can uh, sort them by name, sort them by type, and we can also hide them. So hiding them makes it so that you can see them on the template manager, but on the front end you can't see them. All right, let's go ahead and unhide that. Let's go ahead and download a template that we've already saved. So one of these templates, we want to go ahead and download it and actually export it to another website. So from there, you click the template. You click at the bottom download template keep the name whatever you want it to keep click download and it's going to appear right here as a .tco file it's going to have the name and then .tco at the end from there you can store these files wherever you want in a cloud storage or in your computer um, wherever you're going to be able to organize them and then you can go ahead and import them into another website simply by clicking and dragging right over here to the choose a template or drag it here to import section. From there, you can also bulk download. So if you have multiple presets you want to download, you can go ahead and click all of those, download three templates, label it whatever you want it to label as, click download. And then it's going to end up right here as at mytemplates.tco. And as you saw earlier, we can click and drag this and we can go ahead and import all three at one time. Show you the search feature over here on the right hand side if we wanted to find facebook we can do that if we wanted to do a column one we have that so that whatever you name it you can search for it on the right hand side let's go ahead and talk about some presets over here on content let's go to our templating section So I've got a couple of things here. Let's go ahead and remove everything. And we're going to go ahead and add a section. And we want this section to have a background with an image. And then we want it to have a foreground upper layer of a opaque, opaque white. All right, let's go ahead and add some text to it. Let's center this text. We're going to add some padding 
to this as well. Just so we can have this here. And let's make this just a little bit bigger. There. Okay, so this is our template that we want to go ahead and uh, save for future use because this is going to be like a call to action. Well, not yet. Let's add a button. But it'll be our call to action that we want to use on multiple sites um, so that we can go ahead and save time and not have to worry about you know restyling this every single time. And let's go ahead and and center all of this. Okay. So we've got this and we want to go ahead and save this entire section as a template. We go to our layout, save template, make sure the one that we want is highlighted. And I'll show you, I'll show you something else too. So we have multiple sections here, but we only want this top one. We save template, uncheck all of the ones we don't want, keep this checked. This is going to be our call to action. And we're going to hit save. From there, that's going to go ahead and save that template inside of our templates manager. And you can see it right here, call to action. And from there, we can download the template. And we can take this and upload it to any sites that we want to um, that are 2.0 or 6.0 and above. By clicking and dragging, it's going to automatically import it. And it's right here. It's because we already have one. That's why it's putting a one afterwards. But you can, you guys understand. Let's go ahead and delete this template. Let's talk about uh, presets for certain um, elements. But before I do that, we're good to go. Let's go ahead over to our content templating. Let's go ahead and style an accordion. And the accordion is going to have a red background. And the text is going to be white. So we have it just like this. So we want to go ahead and make it so that we save this preset. We want to use this on other websites, other accordions, things like that. Uh, right here, once we're clicked on the accordion, we go to save preset, red background, white text, click save. Now, like I mentioned before, this is going to go into our template section and it's going to be right here, red background, white text, and it's an accordion. Okay, so if we sort them by alphabetical order, you can see that the presets are all in alphabetical order as well. Let's let's make it so that when we want to add a new accordion, it's automatically going to take over that preset that we made. And this is really like an unspoken feature that I'm surprised Themeco hasn't mentioned. Um, bottom left hand corner of your template manager is these uh, icon gears. So go ahead over, click on that, and you can click and make it make presets for all of your items, and then you can apply them as easy as clicking the drop down and click red background white text. So if you noticed earlier, when we added the accordion, it was um, the white background with black text. And now when we add a new accordion, it is going to be that red background with the white text. Now here's the thing. In order for you to actually keep this and make it so that this works every time, you have to make sure that that template stays inside of your template manager. Once you delete this, it deletes it from the settings and you can no longer uh, apply that preset to your default um, elements. So make sure that you always keep the ones that you're using inside of here because once you go ahead and delete this, it gets deleted from here and you can no longer use it. So let's go ahead and save that and we'll show you what the what happens when you delete it. 
So if I wanted to add an accordion, we'll go ahead and click and drag an accordion here. And it's all white with black text, something we do not want. Let's move on to um, applying a template that you've, a whole page template that you've imported. So we've already imported our whole page template here, the um, overlapping column. So we can go over here to our content, go to our page. From there, we can load a template and we click select template and we can click the overlapping column. And this is going to insert the section that we made, uh, the two sections we made for the overlapping columns. So it's real easy to import templates uh, into your site, apply them to a page that you have and be able to use them instantly. Let's go ahead and discuss headers and footers real quick. So for headers, basically we have all of our headers here, just like uh, we've seen in the previous uh, versions of Pro. You can double click the name and change the name, new name, and click enter, and it changes it there. And then you can go ahead and change it back if you want. We can import headers by clicking the bottom left hand corner, use template, and we can select a template, newest Facebook, and click create. So we have the newest Facebook one here, and we can delete the others too as well. So we have the newest Facebook header here. We can actually assign this to a page on the right hand side. And then if we want to export this header, so that other uh, people can use it or other websites can use it. All you have to do is click save as template, name it, save. And it gets saved into your template manager so that you can go ahead back to there, go to your Facebook newest, download it here. And it gets downloaded to your computer wherever you have your downloads go to. This is the same thing with the footers as you can use a template. Uh, same thing, drop down, choose your, your footer, and then you have your footer here. Let's save this as a template. And then from there we have our use templates and we can actually see that we have the template that we already selected. No need to refresh or anything like that click create and we have this new one here for us to use it's a great way to um, import export templates um, save all of your content so that you can use it on multiple sites uh, if you're looking to sell your content you can do it that way as well um, just a great overall uh, manager for you to have all of your templates in one place uh, on one site. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I will be happy to answer them if I can. And I will see you guys at the next video. See ya.